Uh, Some of these comments so, are so interesting. I know. So I'm going to have you guys <laughs> answer uh, your current relationship status and longest relationship. Uh, I'm currently single, and my longest relationship was three years. Should we fill? Should we like fill it in? Mm-hmm. Well, how how was it? How was <laughs> it? How were those Describe three years? It. The question: Why did it end? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, that's a good question. I could hardly remember. That was like 2017 that it ended. When was your last relationship? Uh, it ended in January. Why did that end? Uh, I basically was not. She couldn't th- lift enough. No, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was a good one. I mean, to put it simply, like that's I basically like left. Um, we competed at the same show, and I basically just like left and didn't kind of watch her compete. Uh, yeah. Why did you do Why'd that? You do that? Um, just some. A lot of things were happening within my work environment that m- led me to believe essentially that like she was against me in a way and I instead of communicating that I just kind of wanted to handle my own business and what did we learn through that experience um well (laughs) (laughs) don't date a woman that lifts more than you you're right you're right and I'll I'll admit that like yeah it's a regret but I also told her that we would talk about it on Sunday after and I'm like just let me do my own thing and we can talk about it on Sunday that Which is was the day very the show. weird that there was a competition between you two. You don't hear that, no, that you often. Weren't. No, we yeah. weren't competing against each other. But you said there was some sort of competition. Like you felt like we, I competed in bodybuilding and yeah. she be- competed in bikini. Like we were at a show. Mm. But it got complicated. Could. You said because there was a competition thing. The, it, that's no, the competition. No, no, there, there was the like external factors were were playing into it where it led me to believe that like she was not on my side as my partner. Mm. Didn't wasn't supporting you properly. Um, no, it's more like work related, mm. and it was like a he said she said thing, and I was just like I just want to not even think about this right now and just handle my own shit. Mm. So I was just like overly selfish, and then we tried to like work it out after, but then didn't really work it out after. Mm. R.I.P. R.I.P. The <laughs> violin. <laughs> I am currently single, and the longest relationship was three years. So, Did you ever test her poop? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he tests people's ben, poop. Ben does I like a, heavy oh. metal mineral <laughs> analysis of yeah, no. people. <laughs> uh, not in that relationship, no. I wasn't, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't, wasn't into that yet. But uh, very important, microbiome of your partner. Sorry. You don't want to be getting parasites from your partner. So. Wait, wait, wait. Say that again? But parasites. <laughs> like... No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, I test heavy metals in the body. Uh, but if your I partner need, has parasites and you have sex with them, you're going to transfer the parasites. So hookup culture, very dangerous for your health. Without condom. And with condom and kissing, condom. all of it. Oh. Yeah, you're wow. going to get parasites. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I must have everything. parasites. Yeah. Have what do parasites do? we all do? have parasites? Mm, yeah, yeah probably. <laughs> what if, if your partner you, if is you have vegan? Disease, yeah, you got yeah. parasites. Kids parasites? got some hot takes. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Do, isn't it mostly from meat that you get parasites? No, no, no. no. it External can be from everywhere, well. but it just depends on it's how strong your body, like, it's, they're it's like mm. can fight it. It's, yeah. a myth that it. it's a myth that they just come from third world countries. Yeah, I mean, it's Obviously. like your immune system's deficient. Yeah. You don't have all your nutrients. You like, attract parasites. So. Got you, got you. Oh, Asian, Learn good. So you, have, so you got a lot of people who are unhealthy in our world. You got hookup culture. Everyone's sharing mm-hmm. nastiness. Go to so. Disneyland. You'll see a lot of unhealthy people. Oh, yeah. hell yes. Welcome to America, though. We live in <laughs> I don't go to Disney. <laughs> Food's just getting worse over there. It used to be better. Now it's like trash. Uh, I am currently in a relationship. It's been about a year, and it's been my longest relationship. Nice. Aw, that's cute. How old are you here? And she's 26. in the building. Can yeah, we get her over here? here. <laughs> 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 I'm sitting over there. She's a hottie. She's beautiful. What about you? Um, I've never been in a relationship over a year. I think. Longest capped at like eight or nine months. And why do you think that is? <laughs> I think. I what think are your flaws? <laughs> Grady, Grady's a lover. He's there's um, too much. Yeah, I think I think it really just boils down to not being in a place where like, mm-hmm. with a lot of uh, options available, I was like centered enough to like, lock in. And now, kind of got like a main thing. So she got me these pajamas and. Oh, main thing. Oh. Yeah. But I am monogamous. She lives in another state, so like. What are those? I would call them PJs, but I no, guess they get the polar bears. Oh, it's polar, polar bears. bears. I think, okay. yeah. or like really poorly drawn 
some other animal, but it, I think it's polar bear is very likely that the bear. artist was was attempting at a polar bear. <laughs> Have you ever seen? But again, seen could no. could be a multitude of things. Could be a really really mm-hmm. bad ant. You know. You said you you've never been in a relationship. That was over like eight or nine months. I think that's usually. But you're a lover, he said. But you're like a lover. Yeah. So it was more of the girl that was like usually the problem. Or like? I wouldn't I wouldn't boil it down to that. I would say I'm largely problematic. I think it just <laughs> boils down to like being able to recognize differences and like maybe the fact that you are one way at the beginning of a year and at the end of it, you're not. And you're like, mm-hmm. I'm not going to keep you being someone that I'm quick, not quickly, in order to like appease someone else. I think at a certain point you have to be spiritually selfish and right. look out for That's yourself true. first. Yeah. So like. And, and honestly, it's just like a byproduct of being scatterbrained. I think like I'm just fucking insane. And, <laughs> but, you know, That's okay. I feel like I'm you're getting I'm getting in a good routine. I'm starting to figure it out, you know, you're doing cold plunges. Yeah, very self-aware. Doing That's massages. Doing cold plunges. Yeah. 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 We, yeah. <laughs> thinking straight, huh? We, uh, How wild did I know that? We did, we did them on the way here. We stopped by Diplo's house on the way up and, and did a 34 degree cold nice. plunge. So shout out bus. Diplo. Thank you. <laughs> For the cold plunge, sorry for getting your floor wet. We're finally friends again. Gang. <laughs> again? Yeah. What? We just recently met at a wedding. Won't go into detail, but okay. we're friends again. You guys previously uh, hooked up? No, we have never hooked up. No. Allegedly. Okay. Only no, person in LA. have never hooked up. Literally, I was going to say shockingly. Allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, didn't you have seven <laughs> girlfriends? No. I did not who have who seven. was the seven girlfriends? That? No, it was, that was you. Okay. You told me that you had seven girlfriends. I did not have seven girlfriends. It was, no, right. it, was a, it, was a, it was an interesting situation. Um, I was just, I was in an open relationship with a girl. Mm. Um, my parents just gotten divorced. I, I was probably in like a pretty low point. And, uh, and so I was just like, oh, kind of open to whatever. And, uh, How I old was, were you when this happened? It's like 23, 24. And, uh, what does that look? What is that? You're just analyzing? You handled a, a breakup in your grown age that way. I just wouldn't For sure. That. Yeah. I mean, there was, a, there was a lot of other shit going on, but like. I also, it was just like I met a dope girl and she happened to be bi. We we're in an open relationship. Um, one thing led to another. Uh, <laughs> met one girl that wanted to have three ways, met another one, <laughs> yeah. and it just kind of like compounded into this like super math. group of girls that <laughs> all how wanted. Did, how did you feel in that moment? <laughs> it, at a certain point, it just felt normal. You know, it yeah. was just like. Imagine if a girl. Yeah. Regular situation. Imagine the comments if a girl said that. Mm-hmm. That'd be crazy. Uh, she do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. But. I am here. But no, it was it was. Uh, Grady, I think the way you explained it to me the first time was that you, oh you were dating a girl, and then it turned out she was dating the same girl that you were also dating. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's, it's not like that. No, oh, no, no. no so basically, uh, one of one of the girls that I, like took out while I was dating this chick, um, was going on a date with a girl that I had just hooked up with. And I was like, and she was like, I want to go hook up with this girl, but I'm too nervous to do it on my own. Will you come? And I'm like, absolutely. And so I was sort of like, I was sort of like the liaison for their like sexuality opening, you know? And so that sort of like blossomed into a much So she'd never been with a girl. She'd never been with a girl. Uh, Okay. Trying to get out of all of that. I, I guess it, like Slowly a volcano eruption, away. yeah, just one beautiful final <laughs> goodbye, and I waved my way back to Los Angeles and never looked back. <laughs> I, I want to make a comment, too, on this, is, and not that it matters a ton, but, I mean, maybe people watching see Grady in a onesie and might make some judgments, but Grady dates and is typically friends with some of the most beautiful women I've ever wow, seen. Wow, that's so great. It, it, he, I don't know what it is about Grady, but... What do you mean you don't know what it is? Look at me. <laughs> He's like, I don't know. I don't know why. I have no idea. <laughs> I, no, we, I kind we of felt like it we did. We were in uh, Croatia this summer, and he like showed up with this like six-foot like New York runway model. Like I was just like... <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't compute sometimes it's a big so dick. Yeah. Don't that, it could be it Definitely maybe it's gotta be more than that you know i don't know <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the personality oh, man, he just seems like it's a genuine dude like, he's like a cool chill genuine girls like to laugh What's yeah. rounded yeah. guy you libra yeah I'm a libra. for you i'm a libra <laughs> <laughs> see that's yeah. why that's yeah. why that's why <laughs> <laughs> oh why you didn't ask like a zodiac sign 
What? He's like, no, I mean, why didn't ask like everybody's zodiac sign? Because he's not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we're all connected to the stars. Zodiacs I believe it. Matter. I believe it. I think we're <laughs> celestial beings for sure. I just, I think yeah. that, I think a lot of people t put too much on it. You know, I think a lot of people use it as it a crack. It might be because go, you don't know enough about it. Sure. Or you know too much, right? Like, <laughs> I think... I think a lot of people will use it as a crutch and say, well, you know, I'm only an asshole on Wednesdays because the star <laughs> said so. And it's like, Cancers are no, you're just, you're just cool. being an asshole on a Wednesday and maybe take accountability, you know? It's cool. it's I think, I think, a line. I think, I think people mm -hmm. like in this day and age have a lot of trouble with taking accountability. So and that's just the bottom line. Your natal chart is you basically your blueprint. However, you get to do whatever you want with that blueprint. Yeah. So you don't have to be what you're Exactly. Blueprint That's how is. I feel. Yeah. I, I felt I felt very aligned with a lot of the stuff I've read. I've gone to shamans. I've I've done done a lot of that stuff. I mean like I I'm, I, I try I try aligned. to Yeah, I mean I try to stay tapped in. I don't I don't do drugs, but I do a lot of mushrooms. I like <laughs> I, I always I always try to like keep <laughs> keep myself in check spiritually and and i've i've definitely felt a lot of times like really seen by by stuff that i read with astrology and and i think there's power to it i just think just like with anything else you got to realize that you're the one in the in the driver's seat it's like the you know, same with the religion you can use that like oh like in my my dad or my daughter he said like uh, one time I'm like uh, I need some money it's uh, on on some point Thanks, we was no. talking and he was helping sometimes financially so he I was like I need some mommy uh, money for like uh, for my daughter for like clothes and he's like what do you gonna send something or not he's like oh you know Allah doesn't give me money <laughs> I'm bad months, and I'm like, I can see your red flames coming out of your head. Yeah. It's like, 